this is going to kind of be an open video, honest video. Uh, we're a little hesitant about sharing this, but uh, why we stopped telling our friends that we're debt free and our family and our family. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the biggest part and the hardest part of this whole transition from moving across country and buying a small A frame here in Michigan and uh, paying off our debt to live life on our own terms has really been, I guess, the relatability aspect of that, right? And yeah. talking to our friends and family about this. It's been, it's been pretty tough. Um, I have like one friend that understands, but um, there's a lot of our friends and family that um, don't necessarily talk to us. Yeah. Uh, things have changed, the dynamic has changed because we've changed and it's true we have changed yeah that's a big that was a big thing with our family it said well you changed jeremy you changed grace like things have changed and like you're just not the same it's like yeah i definitely have changed yeah in the past three years our life's completely changed we have we're living life completely different than we were three years ago yeah and we're living life completely different from them too so yeah exactly completely different from them yeah and most of society really mm -hmm. and i i do i do i kind of I do resonate with that, so like I do understand that, right? You have to understand their mindset and how they were raised, or even just how society, right? It's so respectable in society to yeah. work forty hours a week, get a corporate job, and kind of like work that ladder. And so like that was that was my family's definition of, of success. Like that's how I was raised. Like you get a good job, and you work the corporate ladder, right? The same advice that my dad gave us when we were younger, he gave us when we were older, and it made more sense as I was older, if that makes yeah. sense. Um, but pretty much my dad was the one that sparked that, um, sparked that in you. Like, Jeremy, you don't have to be old like me to get out of debt. Like, there's different ways and... Or just to live life on your terms. Yeah. Like, he was an Uber driver, right? But, <laughs> yeah, he was But he Uber. lived his life the way he wanted to. Like, mm -hmm. he worked very few hours. Yeah. But, I mean, he owned his home. Yep. And just... Like he just he controlled his schedule, controlled his life, yes. right? And so like for him, and really what helped me kind of change my perspective is like he lived for financial peace, right? Instead yeah. of just like working just for money, yeah, right? Like he worked to have peace and not just monetary gain, right? And so I guess when things started really heating up um, between our friends and family, because we didn't really tell anybody that we were on mm -hmm. this debt-free journey at all. Um, we wanted to do, get out of debt first before we even told people, like, hey, like, we we don't owe anything. Because we wanted to see if it worked. Yeah, we wanted to see. We did go through the Dave Ramsey plan. Yeah. Um, and it did work. Where we found, like, the most friction when th things really started heating up was when we bought our manufactured home. Um, yeah. Right? And I know there's a, there's a stereotype around manufactured homes, so that's what my family was like, hey, why would you buy that? And isn't that a ghetto, like trailer parks, like yeah. druggies and things like that? Like, And then you see that in movies, so you're thinking yeah. like the worst. Exactly. And so we bought the home, but we bought it like when it was, it was completely trashed, basically, right? We didn't buy a brand new manufactured home, no. right? And so, but our family was like, why would you buy that? It's not a, it's not a real investment, right? But from our perspective, it was a vehicle for us to completely get out of debt, reduce our expenses tremendously, and if we wanted to sell it, because we because we completely remodeled it, right? Like yeah. I said, we bought it when it was completely trashed in cash, and then we just remodeled it. And so, at that time, we were modeling. Like it was kind of some tension among our family, some friends. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, um, this doesn't make any sense. And at times, I kind of question, like, what am I doing? Yeah. It's like, what are we doing? Like, is this the best decision, right? Everybody's saying you should just buy a house and get, right? Over leverage yourself, get in debt, yeah. $300,000, whatever. Because we lived in Portland, and so, like, houses, what? It, was, it wasn't even 300000 It was like four fifty, yeah. five hundred. We wanted to live free faster, right? Yeah. We wanted our freedom faster, and we knew if we had a, a mortgage um, of that much, that was just going to eat at, eat at our income. Mm -hmm. And so it would just take us longer to. And at that time, we early. and at that time we weren't thinking about moving to another state. Yeah. So this is just like us thinking, okay, how can we live decent here in Portland without like slaving ourselves even more in our jobs? You know, yeah. um, we were thinking about me staying home part time if we started a family. So this is things that we were thinking about about us. If we were living in Portland and staying in Portland, yes, um, yeah, but, we're trying to make it in Portland. We're trying yeah. to see how we we can make this work. 
right? And that's over like, okay, get a manufactured home. The rent for the space was only 500 bucks a month. Yeah. And so like, really we're like, okay, what if we just had, you know, $500 a month space and then a few utilities. And but we didn't throw our money in our, in apartments, in an apartment as yeah. well, because apartments were really expensive. Yeah. The one that we were looking into, they were like 1500 over. For and like a one, one bedroom. One yeah. Bath. And we and did that for a long time, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, for us, we wanted, like I said, to reduce our expenses so we can live more and um, focus on what we wanted yeah. to. Yeah, so that was one of the reasons why we stopped telling our friends and family why we were debt-free because, or in the process of being debt-free because people just didn't understand. Yeah. And if our family didn't understand, like, how were our friends were going to understand? And I think our friends, like when we started telling our friends they're like oh that's cool or like like you know what i mean was, like just kind of just yeah, like oh it's cool you're cool. doing that whatever yeah like um i guess i didn't really understand the vision mm -hmm. behind it and um, and it was different you know we thought it was different too and i think it like it seems impossible for most people yeah like i think that's one of the reasons too it's like people just kind of shrug it off because like oh he's, that's impossible how, how are you yeah. going to live on your own terms like how are you going to retire early and do what you want at like, such a young at age at such a young age <laughs> like no, you gotta work and climb the corporate ladder yeah. and you know invest in this that you know what I mean and so it just didn't seem possible so I, I guess I, I kind of understood that that's what I felt yeah um, when talking about it and some other people asked us like oh how did you do it and then we would start talking to them and telling them well this is what we did you know we first started with the Dave Ramsey and then also like we gave them our tips of how we started and how we got out of debt and People were like interested. Our families were family members were interested, and our family and our friends were interested in it. And after that conversations, people just like shut us off completely and didn't even talk to us again. And I was like, we were kind of like, well, <laughs> should we even tell people we are at a day? Yeah, exactly. You know, because we didn't want to lose our friends and our family members. I mean, like yeah. we lost our f close fr uh, family members. That meant like. We just didn't want people thinking that we were in a higher level as them or we were better than them yeah. at all. Like we just did, we were just kind of excited about like, wow, we actually paid off our debt. People can do it. Our family can do it. And if we can help them, let's help them. But people I think took the wrong message they and they just completely shut us off. Like we talked, like we tried reaching out to them just as like, you know, like a regular conversation, but I felt like we both felt like people were kind of like ignoring us because they just did not want to hear it from us or they thought that we were bragging about it, which was not yeah, the case. No, not at all. So. I think like, oh, so, so our son is crying. Yeah. We try to make this video. <laughs> it's so hard to make two videos now. We're supposed to do with a baby. With a baby, right? I need like an office, but even with an office is still yeah. like. And a babysitter. Yeah. For at least an hour. <laughs> and we're back. With our son. <laughs> With our little one. He was just hungry. Videos are going to look different from now on. I know. we got to figure this out. But <laughs> as we were saying that, you know, as we started telling people, I feel like what we did was not sexy, right? It was really hard. And so it's like when people did ask us how we did it or like if they asked for advice, like they don't really take it with much, right? They don't like once we tell them, it's like, oh, okay, well, oh, you got to do that. Yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, okay. Um. It's just hard, like, you know what I mean? Honestly, it's just hard. It is hard. And so it's like... I don't know if people thought that it was easy, probably, because we did it at such a young age. And it, it can happen quick. It can happen It did happen quick, quick for yeah. us. Like, I mean... Within, like, two years or two, so? Two, three years? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was our goal, and that may not be a goal for other people in our family. And so when we started sharing, they probably thought that we were just, like rubbing in their face or yeah. just trying to be better than them but that was not the case at all not at all no um, not at all it was just a question that they would ask because you know like you know sometimes in conversations that that would come up like what is your goal or whatever and that was our goal and we would share and we were really excited about it but people were just not taking it the right way and it's weird because like it's like if they're actually your friends or your family right what shouldn't they be your biggest supporters yeah in my heart like that's how i felt um right we didn't have a lot of support from people um especially our family the only support we had was just pretty much my parents and your mom yeah. and that was pretty much it uh, which is kind of sad you know um it made us sad but we continued our journey and um, 
we realized that we could sell our manufactured home yeah. for a pretty penny after investing um, in it and realizing the home values have gone up. And so we made this issue. It's like, hey, we can actually completely, completely be debt free, right? If we moved across the country yeah. and bought something a little cheaper. Yep. And, uh, mm-hmm. And when family found out about that mm-hmm. move, oh man, it was a bomb. <laughs> yeah. It was not great. Um, people definitely did not agree with our choices, yeah. but we knew that that was something that we needed to do if we wanted to get out of debt and something that Jeremy and I had discussed and, and we were on the same page. Yes. Yeah. And not just get out of debt, but really just like have financial mm-hmm. peace and live the yeah. life that we want. Yeah. Right. And, and quote unquote, retire early. Literally everything that we make is either right to invest in our future, invest in, in, in certain areas that we are interested in, yeah. in our hobbies, invest in our, in our, in our friendships that we have here in our church, local community. Um, right. Cause we just don't have many expenses. So we found like, this is the best way for us. And we realized that this is not the best way for everyone. No. And it's not, and that's something we learned really quickly. Yeah. And so we're just, we found that like, we're just not going to give unsolicited advice, right? If somebody doesn't want advice, we shouldn't, we shouldn't even tell them, yeah. right? Well, like, we learned to like not even share at all, which is yeah. kind of sad, you know, because sometimes you you want to share these things with your close friends and your family, but if our close and fr- uh, friends and family shut us down, um, we were just kind of scared to share it to even friends that we were just becoming friends with. Um, and so most of my friends don't even know I have this YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> like that's just how it is cuz it's like, you know what? I'm just going to share our story with the world and right if someone is maybe along the same path and looking for maybe a different path um than what other people right are sharing. I feel like everybody has a different path. Yeah. And so there's different ways to retire early or become debt free, right? This is just our story and how we did it. Yes. Um and so this is why we started the channel. Um, really just to share our journey. I mean, we, it's, we're it's obviously not going to help everybody. Yeah. And a lot of people are not going to take our advice or, you know, care about our story. But if we can help at least one person out there and, you know, or if somebody wants to know what we're doing or what we did, I mean, that's what we wanted. Excuse you. <laughs> Excuse you, <me>, buddy. <laughs> That's the reason why we wanted to start this um, channel. Well, my husband did. <laughs> I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know kind of what your thoughts are on this, like in the comments below. What are you dealing with? Share your thoughts. Share what you're going through because I guarantee you someone else is going through the same thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.